During the last government, there has been a politi politi politicization of the, uh, some of the recipients. And this was, uh, you know, very prevalent towards the end of the administration where when 600,000 people, uh, uh, entirely based on the, their political affiliations, was given Samurdi. Uh, so in order to uh, avoid this kind of uh, repetition of uh, this uh, sort of action, uh, what we are doing is we are, we are having discussions with the, uh, the uh, census and statistics department uh, in order to come up with a, a multidimensional poverty index. So uh, the poverty has many uh, facets, many faces. Uh, so uh, we have incorporated uh, 22, uh, 22 factors which can result in poverty. And so we want to use this index on everybody and then thereby determine you know, whether uh, this, the recipient would be uh, entitled for some of the or not. Uh, but we also want to give a little bit of leeway so that just in case uh, if the some of the if the index is not 100% accurate or you know the, uh, it needs to be modified, so maybe like 75% of the people will be chosen by the index and another 25% by, by the uh, the the some of the officers. Depending on uh, the certain areas, certain factors uh, tend to uh, to be, be more prevalent. Uh, let's say it could be education. It could be one factor. It could be education, one factor could be water, the access for uh, water, or one factor could be like access for e electricity, one factor could be like if there's a disabled, um, uh, let's say a child or something in, in that, you know, household and, you, you know, you are, there's a more likelihood of poverty. Another factor could be, uh, another factor uh, could be like the, the, if you are a widow or, or so, then, you know, there's there a higher chance of that, you know, uh, you being uh, um, uh, you been uh, in poverty, so I can't remember the ex all the 22 by uh, heart. But uh, th these are like you know similar factors, uh, which has been studied internationally and also through the the the, the census and uh, statistics department. And using these factors, that we want to come up with this uh, multifaceted uh, poverty index. Certainly want to you know increase the benefits uh, to the people. You know that's a given. Uh, but the uh, issue is. First of all, before we increase the benefits, right now the highest category you get 3,500 rupees, and which we feel is, is inadequate. Uh, even the highest category is inadequate in the current, current context. Uh, but before we you know, proceed uh, with that, I think it's better to evaluate all the 1.8 million, uh, some of the family, uh, family, uh, families which are getting, uh, um, which are entitled to the, uh, the payments. So um, after the evaluation, I think you know we can look at you know increasing the uh, increasing the uh, whatever the uh, the quantums of uh, money which we uh, give to the people. But also, I think you know our main emphasis should not be just giving more and more samurdi. Our main emphasis should be to get them out of poverty, and uh, so you know thereby you know I think also we will uh, change our focus to a certain like, you know a certain extent on income generation, uh, then you know, just giving handouts, and also I think you know I think pertaining to the the pre, the, the first question also that. Uh, that we also went to, uh, on to digitalize the the uh, the, um, the how the money is given to the people so that a lot of irregular irregularities can be uh, avoided. We are having discussions at the moment uh, in developing an e-card. I think it can be you know it can be done through a local uh, uh, payment mechanism and it being linking linking up with uh, let's say the cooperative movement or, or something like that uh, or, or the, uh, the uh, whereby you know the money. Will Will be credited to a certain card, and then then some of the recipients would be able to uh, take the physical cash out of uh, out from a, uh, some institution which is closer to the, uh, their vicinity. So uh, that's the idea. So that you know it will be more efficient, and then uh, uh, and also in order to we also have to understand that you know in order to uh, for them to re retrieve the money. Uh, sometimes in areas like Monragala, they need to, they have to travel very long distance. So uh, in order to, let's say, get 1,500 rupees or something, the, the last category is 
in 420. So if you're going to get 400 to get in order to get that 420 rupees, you might have to spend like, you know, two, 300 uh, rupees uh, on your traveling cost. So uh, then, uh, and also you need that there's a waste of time in, you know, going long distances. So I think the, if once we get the, uh, once we get the, uh, you know, the, uh, once we get the e cart on, uh, um, uh, 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 on uh, the system going, uh, I think we should be able to. Uh, we should be able to. Um, uh, I think stop. Uh, we should be able to stop uh, more irregularities and also make the system more efficient. What we found out is that you know even if we if we uh, help in uh, creating some livelihood in a certain area, uh, the issue uh, mainly remains in order to uh, provide markets for or find markets for uh, these um, the uh, the local producers so i think you know uh, ideally by linking up with uh, by uh, or, or going online uh, or linking up with daras and by linking up with other online uh, agencies i think you know uh, let's say even if a product is uh, produced in jaffna or in hambantot or wherever uh, through the online mechanism they will be able to uh, sell their products in areas uh, areas like kalampo uh, in uh, more urban areas so uh, thereby i think the uh, uh, the, uh, the what we expect to do is uh, uh, one thing is have more accessibility to accessibility to the uh, markets and uh, and then I think uh, the second phase of this would obviously be uh, try and uh, encourage those um, encourage those uh, the producers to for uh, to sell their uh, sell their products uh, for the export market so uh, I think you know, uh, both these steps can be achieved by working through online markets. If, if the future probably is more towards online business than towards retail business. So I think, you know, we are moving in the right direction. We have the, some of the banks. So uh, we, we have a network of banks. We have uh, 1,073 branches uh, all over. Uh, to the, so, but uh, what we are looking at is, you know, uh, at the moment, the maximum amount uh, alone which we, we which we can give is, um, uh, I think, uh, one million. You know, uh, and that also there's a lot of re restrictions in it in order to get a loan for one million. So the people who have been successful, we want to uh, make sure that those people are, uh, have more access access to higher levels of credit. So then maybe we we, we are uh, planning on linking up with the state bank, whereby. Uh, a higher amount of a higher degree of uh, higher quantum of loan can be given to uh, those the successful successful people but we will give a um, give a let's say interest subsidy uh, but uh, the credit risk will be taken by the the, the, the state bank uh, so we are looking at uh, you know options such as that and then also Part of part of it is, you know, uh, is that the, the products which these manufacturers uh, manufacturers uh, make also uh, need some technical advice in areas such as packing and and in areas such as uh, the uh, let's say like styling it uh, uh, and uh, um, and design. So we also want to get the private sector involved in uh, helping out with the, uh, in these aspects. Uh, we visited Jaffna last week, and then um, now there's a research institute pertaining to the uh, the palm palm um, uh, not the um, uh, Palmyra products. Yeah, so uh, we went and met the the research institute institute and see uh, see uh, um, how best we can uh, how best we can uh, um, work. So we, we are trying out. A, different types of models in different types of areas in certain areas we are trying to, whenever if there's a large business we are trying to get this some of the uh, um, uh, people to sup, uh, to supply uh, to cater to the, the supply chain so then there's a ready-made market over there uh, but in in certain areas we want we want to we also want to develop uh, a thousand cluster villages um, which either uh, which either grows one product or which uh, makes one product, and then we um, want to sign, uh, get into an agreement with the uh, Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Ministry of Plantations and get their technical assistance also in in. Um, 
when, whenever in one of these cluster villages if they're growing one product. Uh, and then also we want to get um, the support of uh, companies such as Dara's and other online uh, e-commerce platforms uh, in order if they are uh, producing some product. Uh, so uh, what we want to do is bring a culture of uh, not thinking, in, uh, you know, I think, you know, the government, how business, how government in Sri Lanka has worked is you have this, comp com it's very compartmentalized. So, you, you know, but we want to, uh, part, we want to come get into partnerships with both the private and the public public sectors and without you know thinking in silos we want to work with uh, other other ministries uh, and other organizations in order to uh, uplift the poverty levels china uh, has an amazing story uh, in reducing poverty as i mentioned in 19 uh, i think in 1977 also the china the number of uh, people in china which was below the uh, poverty line uh, was uh, uh, more than 90% uh, and now uh, the power, number of people uh, below the poverty line in China is less than 1%. So China has uh, adopted uh, different models including uh, in certain, let's say, in certain uh, zones where, let's say, if you, if you don't find fertile land, uh, you, they have taken and moved the whole villages to more fertile areas and then uh, they have carried out programs. So. Uh, so I think you know we are we are, we are, we are studying different models uh, uh, to see how best uh, you know we can uh, we can adapt it, uh, and uh, certainly uh, one area we are concentrating mainly is with the, uh, the small and medium uh, farmers. It's more, it's most most uh, farmers in Sri Lanka tend to be uh, tend to have uh, plots of land less than two acres. So we want to see how a small, small and medium farmers uh, can, um, uh, you know, uh, can uh, have a higher out, out, uh, out, outcrop, uh, mainly maybe through a corporate, uh, organizing themselves into a, a, to a cooperative model, or, uh, and how best we can introduce technology and uh, uh, technology and, you know, uh, and uh, see how they are, the production can uh, improve. So mainly, we are, uh, those are the ways and means we are looking at, uh, looking at reducing poverty. And this is, in, this is uh, on top of the already existing programs, uh, which the, the, some of the uh, ministries are uh, continuing.